Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Leanna. If you're new, and I look like shit today, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> today, I'm going to be doing something that I didn't think I was going to be doing ever, um, and that is try to pole dance for the first time in three years. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't know how to pole dance, and I don't think I ever did, but I did drop $200 on classes three years ago, um, and I do have notes on my phone on certain movements that I learned that I didn't want to forget. Thing is, I've gained like 20 pounds since the last time I pole danced, so I don't think it's going to go very well today. And you might be thinking, this is a really weird hobby. <laughs> this is like super random, this is like a really weird hobby. And yes, yes I agree. Hopefully I don't break my bones. <laughs> So if you know me, and you didn't know this about me, then you probably have a lot of questions. And if you don't know me, then you probably still have a lot of questions. So while I get set up, let me try to like tell you a little bit more. So I first got into pole dancing when me and my first boyfriend broke up. And after that breakup, I just wanted to go ahead and do everything that I had always wanted to do, but he would disapprove of. Pole dancing being one of those things. I saw pole dancing as a way of being really fit and also having a cool hobby. Um, I never really seriously considered becoming a stripper or a professional pole dancer, but I did joke around that if engineering didn't work out for me, I would just become a stripper. But to be honest, I don't even think I can be a stripper if I wanted to be. <laughs> like, it is really, really fucking hard. And so I took these classes right before college, and they were great fun. Now you're probably wondering why I have a pole of my own, and that is because I bought one my freshman year, and I had a pole in the living room of my college dorm. And yes, I did get in trouble for it. <laughs> So basically, my roommate at the time got in trouble for something, and <laughs> that caused the housing administration to come over, and they realized my pole was there, so they tried to confiscate it. And I was like, hell no, I'm not letting you do that, so I had to take it down myself, and because I was so fed up with the admin and their audacity, I moved off campus second year, and I just never found a space for my pole in my second year apartment. So basically, after freshman year was over, so was my brief pole dancing career. And in the past couple of years, I have flirted with the idea of taking out the pole again and, you know, getting back into it. But I never really went for it completely. So today I am going to give it a real shot. And as I mentioned before, I do have notes on my phone of certain movements that I learned in class. And I don't think it's going to go very well. And these notes are very, like, not clear. They were obviously meant for me when I actually knew what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> but now that I have no idea what these notes mean and it's been a long enough time, I'm going to try to comprehend them and we'll see how that goes today. Okay, so I guess the only thing left to do is see how this goes. I hope nobody from the outside looks in here. That would be really embarrassing. So I began with what I remembered and started off with the knee pinch, which is just the fireman but with your knees and to know what I'm doing you have to kind of know what a fireman is but that's coming <laughs> I am so dizzy there was also is this one the bicycle which is pretty self-explanatory but I'm pretty sure that's not how you ride a bicycle what am I doing with my legs <laughs> of course there's a lot of standing around and pondering Ah, so this is the fireman. It didn't come with any notes in my phone because it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> and next is the invert, which came with very elaborate instructions. And yes, that hurt my toe a lot. <laughs> I had to put my right hand on the pole, left hand on top, my hips in front of the pole, and then kind of jump. Um, and I was also supposed to let myself down sexily, but it didn't work out that way. <laughs> Next is the climb, unrelated to the Miley Cyrus song. I had to use my left shin to climb, but I honestly don't remember how to do that, so it didn't work out. Mm-hmm. 
And next is the sit, which I remember I was struggling with even when I just started, so I don't blame myself. The specific thing that lets you sit is the tilt of your hips, which puts a lot of strain on your inner thigh. And uh, yeah, it fucking hurts. <laughs> This next one doesn't have a name, it just said I had to grab the pole, I have to start from the side, go in the front, and then go behind, uh, and my shoulder should be in front of the pole. Wrap my leg around and then put my hand in the knee pit and then jump and spin. Sounds easy enough, right? <laughs> one thing I have vivid memories of is wiping down the pole with rubbing alcohol when it gets really slippery. I wonder if firemen of the fire station do this, but Probably not, because they need to slide down anyway. I gave that last one another shot, but needless to say, it did not work out. This next one is called the Sideways Frog. It would require me to bear the likeness of a frog that has found its way onto a pole. I think I could have lowered my top arm a little more than it would have allowed me to be a little more sideways, but I wasn't feeling too secure in the movement. This one was a combination of movements, which required me to start out with the sit, which I blatantly ignored and just did the knee pinch. This one is a back hook, and I wrote that it would be easier with socks on hardwood, which coincidentally was exactly my situation. This one is the ankle spin, which I lost my nail over, but it sounded way worse than it actually was, so don't worry about me. But yeah, I was never good at this movement for some reason. This one in my notes is called the ankle transition, and it is the same as the last one, except now I had to transition into a different movement. Except I really did not know what the back swing thingy was, but I tried to guess, um, but I don't think I was right. This one is a combination of the front hook and the sit, and here you see me giving myself a pep talk. I had a lot of trouble doing that sit. Most of it just ended up looking like a fireman. I tried it again. And again. But morale was low. I was losing all my motivation. And I tried it one last time. And it still didn't work, so I just moved on. And I conclude this video with the double hook, which is the one movement that I did the most and the one that I am most comfortable doing. That's all I have left of my $200 experience. <laughs> and now I'm going to put the pole away um, and it is going to sit in the closet forever. <laughs> or at least until I find someone who wants to buy it. Or until maybe three years later when I want to try it again out of nowhere. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next week. Bye! So, did I do a good job at pole dancing today? Absolutely not, but did I do better than I thought I would? Yes. Did I have fun revisiting an old hobby of mine? Yes. So, if you are to take away anything from this video, let it be some motivation to try out an old hobby again, or try out something new. Because before you know it, you might forget everything that you learned. So yeah, good luck and have fun. I'll see you next week.